This is the revelation that has been hidden from the previous prophets, such as Daniel and other major manifestation even. They have received a part of this revelation and now each of them have a part of the truth and the followers believe they have the whole truth which is not the word of God. The word of God clearly states nobody knows the truth until the seventh angel or the revealer comes at that time the whole truth will be revealed. To this point, some religions say, no, I don't need any Messiah. Just close your eyes and meditate and reach pure consciousness by yourself. Those are the mystical path that teach such a teachings. It's not true. And God clearly says such a people, he will spew out of his mouth and they not gonna let such a people come to him as buddha was buddha 2500 years ago how many people became buddha after him so buddha also was very special in a sense he was a messenger of god to bring the message he brought to them but no one could feel his shoes after he left so the prophet and major manifestations are the unique individual bringing such a huge truth to humanity. So after them, the only thing humanity can hope for is to know the teachings and come close to God as much as possible as a teacher of those teachings that brought by these major manifestations and prophets. The door of knowledge is open to them so they can bring this to humanity. Mystical path have to recognize that and know that God will not let them come in until they follow eternal divine path. And of course, eternal divine path, the next step in it after the meditation and closing your eyes and following all those recommendations that awaken your spiritual forces is the comments of light, which is based on the Old Testament and teaching of the Hebrews. If people awaken their spiritual forces, more and more they will be connected to the spirit and they experience God. They will have an experience. They don't have a religion. Religion is a set of belief that is being imposed on us through our culture, our religion, our understanding. Experience is to have a direct experience with the spirit and God and you know the truth. That's why spirit is in every religion. Hinduism and Buddhism, of course, they strive to have that experience or Kabbalah or saints in Christianity and Sufis in Islam. All of them strive to have an experience with God. The next step they say is to reach God and pure consciousness. The next step instead of Awakening your spiritual forces only is to create communist of light, create an environment that more people can close their eyes, more people can awaken their spiritual forces, more people can strive to become pure consciousness. Such an environment cannot be created unless there are sacrifices by all the members in the community, and that is the message of. Christ, that we can create the communists of light. And communists of light, of course, are created only if human and people in it sacrifice and give to the community more than they receive. And that is what the Christ's message was. This is the explanation of the base of our teachings. Of course, those who give they can become attached to the result of their actions and they either become elated that the action is giving fruit or they become depressed because it is not giving any fruit. The next step 
of course, he's surrendering a submission to God. And that is the message that Prophet Muhammad brought to humanity. It means that we do the action. We try to awaken our spiritual forces. We try to create the communities of light. We sacrifice, but we surrender and submit the result to God. We are not attached to it. Therefore, we do not become elated or depressed. We are absolutely a channel for his action. And that is exactly what surrendering and submission means. Still, we might become narrow in our understanding and direct all our attention to one religion, one people, one sect. And therefore, again, we separate ourselves from each other and we bring destruction. And we can easily see right now between Shias and Sunnis in Middle East. They need the next step, which is the universalism, to recognize that religion and explanation and historical effect on the religion is not the essence of the teaching of the prophet, but the essence of God is in every human being. It is in Sunnis, it is in Shias, it is in, in Christians, Buddhists, Hindus, doesn't matter. They have that essence in them and we cannot separate each other with any ism or explanation. We are all the children of one God. Because that is the message of Bob and Baha'u'llah, universalism. Without it, separation will continue among humans. And we can see right now, they need to understand the essence of God is in every individual. You cannot separate them. Therefore, we have to create environment of the respect, recognition of the rights of the individual and people, and come together as brothers and sisters and share whatever is on earth so we can live in peace. This five step is the steps that is in eternal divine path. People who follow these steps become the elects of God. That's what exactly what God has been sending to humanity and saying, elects are my children. The elects are the salt of the world. The elects are the reason this creation is worth creating. Elect is not a Jew. Elect is not a Christian. Elect is not a Muslim. Elect is not a Hindu, Buddhist. Elect is he who follow the eternal divine path, closes the eye, awaken the spiritual forces, direct that energy toward the creation of the communities of light, Old Testament, sacrifice to create such communities, New Testament, surrender and submit the result to God, Quran, and shatters all knowledgeness of the mind because he realizes God is everything, and the essence of God is in every man and woman and child. Universalism. Such a person is an elect. It is not a religion. It is not a philosophy. It is not a historical separation between people. It is a quality that individual has. Such people are the true leaders of humanity and will come forward around the round table together and will bring the kingdom of God on earth.